manage your time properly. Time, time, managing time, 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 time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, House of Maharani. Here I share lessons that I am learning to becoming my best self. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the lessons that I have learned about time management. I recently took this class via LinkedIn Learning and this has given me more insight in managing my time better. Hopefully this will help you as well. The first lesson is time is the most valuable and most scarce resource that we have. And the lesson tells us to look at time as the most valuable asset and I know this is common sense. However, if you are someone like me and who's often distracted by so many distractions around us, I have had quite difficult time in figuring out the best way to utilize my time. So what I learned from this class was that instead of looking at your time as, oh, I have eight hours in a day, break it down to minutes. When you break it down into minutes, you can see that you actually have more of it. And this way you will be able to allocate all of the tasks that you need to do in a day accordingly. Breaking down into minutes gives you a different perspective on the time that you have. When you look at it in minutes instead of hours, you can see that you have more time. Instead of just one hour, you have 60 minutes. This is a perspective that I did not have before I took the class. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to incorporate it in my life and be able to utilize it in the best way possible. The second lesson is to identify the most important task in your to-do list and to do it first. So identifying the most important task will allow you to prioritize it and do it accordingly. One of the best ways that I have found helps me is on a day-to-day -day basis, when I wake up in the morning, I have a habit of journaling. What I do is I write down the tasks that I need to do for the day. Now, oftentimes I might not get to all of the tasks. However, by identifying the main tasks that I need to fulfill that day allows me to finish the task. Not only that, also get the satisfaction that I need by fulfilling the task. So this is one way of managing your time and making sure that you are taking off those boxes in order to fulfill your goals. The third lesson from this class was to work off your calendar. Now, this is something that I am learning as well. This was very new to me because before this, all I used to do was, of course, write it down in my journal and go off accordingly. But it makes sense if you actually put the tasks in your calendar for the day and the time that it needs to be done, it makes it much more easier for you to get to that and finish the task on time. So working off on the calendar is something that I am learning. Hopefully, once I figure out the best way to do it myself, I will be able to share it as well. So watch out for that. Number four, and this has been one of my biggest challenges throughout my life is to overcoming procrastination. I can't even pronounce it, but I do it all the time. I have been someone who has always put off things uh, to the last minute. And I know there are people who actually enjoy doing it that way or are more productive that way. For me, I have figured that it worked for me, uh, at least when I was in college. However, that is something that I don't want to do it anymore because again, I will be, when I'm procrastinating, I'm taking away time from my scheduled tasks that I need to do. So this is something that I am working on. And again, the best way that I have found in order to overcome procrastination is if I think of a task and I need to do it, I write it down, I make sure that I have time allocated for it and I do it as soon as the time comes to do it. So I no longer put it off. This is something that, you know, we have to learn gradually. So when you're learning, please be kind to yourself. Habit takes time to form, okay? Moving on to lesson number five, there will always be more to do. The to-do tasks 
will never end so make sure that you're taking time out for yourself as well and this is important because again when you are constantly taking off the boxes which you would want to at the same time making sure that you have allocated time for yourself to relax to unwind to take a nap so putting these things inside your to-do task is important as well because again there will always be more to do so make sure make sure that you are taking time out for yourself make sure that you are putting some time aside for yourself and making sure that you are taking time out for yourself because there will always be more to do lesson number six is to always carry a notebook and this makes so much sense because i have so much going in my mind constantly that is it it is important that you pour out and write it down don't overwhelm your brain your mind by just constantly keeping things inside please take a notebook and write it down it's okay it doesn't matter nobody is going to see that notebook except you so make sure to pour out your feelings and it just makes much more sense when you come to realize that this is one of the secrets of successful people as well so always carry a notebook lesson number seven is to control your inbox and i know a lot of us have jobs where we are constantly going through emails and having to answer emails so the class taught this very amazing method which helps you to review and answer your emails in a very timely fashion look at your inbox three times a day for 21 minutes and make sure that you dedicate these 21 minutes three times a day to specifically answer and review your inbox and clear your inbox this way it's out of your mind it's out of the way and your task is done for the day this method is something that i'm going to try for sure when it comes to my personal emails professional i try to answer and review them as quickly as possible however now i'm going to do it in a timely fashion so that i'm managing my time correctly Lesson number eight is to only schedule and attend meetings if absolutely necessary. And I know a lot of us again have the issue of these unwanted scheduled meetings where oftentimes you go in there and you're just sitting and you have nothing to contribute to. So making sure that you are scheduling and attending meetings when absolutely necessary gives you time out of your day to concentrate on the tasks that you need to complete instead of having to sit somewhere where you are not contributing at all and basically wasting your time so again schedule and attend meetings only when absolutely necessary and the way i find it best in a professional setting is to always ask what do you need to present in the meeting and if your contribution is absolutely required if you are not required i often have the habit of asking my colleagues to make sure that they add me as optional that way i know if i need to attend the meeting or not lesson number nine say no to everything that does not align with your goals and i know this is easier said than done however if your goals are your priority if the tasks that you need to do in order to achieve your goals become your priority and you make them your priority then it will become easier for you to say no it is absolutely necessary that you start practicing this in your life because if you're really passionate about fulfilling your goals if you're really determined about your to-do tasks your to-do list then you have to start creating boundaries and say no to things that do not support your goals and the best way that i have found to do this is to mark your calendars and anytime somebody or someone asks you to be somewhere or attend something you just say i'm going to have to check my calendar and make sure i have free time lesson number 10 is to put effort there is something called this Pareto principle, which basically states that if you put 20% of your effort, you will have 80% of results. Now, I don't know how exactly this science works, but what I can tell you from my own experience is that anytime you put effort, 
time and energy in anything that you are doing it will always give you the results now the results might not be exactly as you expected because nothing is 100 percent however putting your effort makes the most difference oftentimes we are so focused on the result itself that we don't take the time to put effort and that's where we are missing most of the time this is something that i've come to figure out when i'm making my videos as well oftentimes i scrutinize myself i just am oh my gosh i've not spent enough time and it's not about spending whole lot of time doing something rather putting some time and putting effort and energy in doing something so that the outcome will happen but if you're constantly worried about the results and the outcomes and not putting any effort then guess what nothing is going to come out of it lesson number 11 in managing your time is to focus on your strengths oftentimes we are so focused on our weaknesses that we forget to take time to focus on our strengths and our passions and it makes sense when you're doing something and if you focus on your strength rather than wasting your time on fixing your weaknesses the work is just going to get so much better and you always have time in order to sharpen your skills if need be. So focus on your strengths, focus on your passion and work towards your goals accordingly. That way you will be able to manage your time and utilize your time the best way possible. Lesson number 12 is to have a morning routine. This seems like something that I have constantly heard and it's been repeated by people that I listen to, podcasts that I listen to, where people always talk about their morning routines. I have a morning routine as well. That's why for me, it makes so much more sense to get things done, specifically when it comes to taking care of yourself in the morning so that you have time to focus on the tasks that you need to do for your professional goals and for your passion goals your dream goals in during the day this helps me get ready for the day and to tackle the tasks accordingly not only that i am more energized and have all of the energy in order to put in to the work and the day ahead lesson number 13 is if a task takes five minutes to do do it immediately i know I am also guilty of this, that I often put tasks off to do it later, even knowing that it's not going to take me a long time. This makes so much sense because oftentimes it's the little tasks that pile up and becomes bigger when we keep on putting them aside. Lesson number 14 is if you have the option, please delegate your task. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to distribute the work. You don't have to do it all on your own. And oftentimes we have the tendency to take on everything and to do everything on your own but if you have the option delegate your task if you divide up the task the task will get done quicker not only that you will be saving time also when you're piling everything on you that's a lot of burden that you're holding on to and this is applicable in your professional life as well as personal life to take a simple example cooking when you're cooking in the house you can always delegate the chopping the dishwashing the cleaning up tasks to other members of your family so anytime you have the option please delegate your task so that you have time to do other things Lesson number 15, successful people know about time management is to relax. Take time to relax. I know I spoke about this earlier as well, but at the end of the day, what you're really doing is if you are taking care of yourself, if you are making sure that you have time set out for yourself to relax, to take a nap, to take some downtime, to read a book, this way you are again filling up yourself with energy filling up yourself with more motivation to do the rest of the task oftentimes we have the habit of not standing up from our desk always sitting down trying to get done but what it does is it what it does is it drains you when it drains you 
your body does not have enough energy so a task which might have taken you a few minutes to do now it's going to take longer therefore taking time out and making sure that you have specific time set out to relax helps you come out with more enthusiasm motivation and energy to then finish up and complete your task so these are the 15 lessons that i learned from a class called 15 secrets successful people know about time management via linkedin learning let me know some of your lessons that you have learned about time management in the comments below this way let's share our learnings with each other our lessons with each other and help each other become the bestest version of ourselves if you like this video do give it a thumbs up like it share and subscribe to this channel i'm going to be bringing out more videos about lessons that i am learning until next time, take care everyone and don't forget to be kind Mwah! to yourself and others.